daycare is shut down. CBS 4 Silva Harpetti on his live at that daycare in downtown Miami with the latest. Silva, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we know that the health department is expected to be back here uh, later this morning, so it is most likely that we will learn a lot more about this incident later today. A scary time at this downtown daycare housed on the grounds of County Hall, the Stephen Clark building. The daycare center has voluntarily closed its doors. Uh, unfortunately, two children have passed away. The suspected cause of death for the first child, a local doctor diagnosed meningitis. The second child's death may be related. The state health department hasn't confirmed either diagnosis. The state's lab tests are still pending as to whether either child had meningitis. Both deaths within seven days of each other the first week of December. We've been working closely with the State Department of Health, the state uh, children and families who are both contacted and are working with the daycare. Miami-Dade County is the landlord. The daycare building is leased by the YWCA. About 50 to 55 youngsters attend the daycare. Many are children of county employees. The state health department on the case after the first death. Spoke to the, the daycare folks, uh, prepared a letter that the state uh, provided to the daycare facility so they can provide that to the parents. Within days, the daycare shut down. And what are the symptoms of infant meningitis? High fever, constant crying, poor feeding, and body and neck stiffness. And back here live, we can tell you that the daycare shut its doors after the first death. And of course, if you have any questions, contact your own doctor. I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS 4 News this morning.